Hey everyone, I just wanted to give another update on the crack key hydroponic method of growing greens or any kind of vegetable. Um, it is Friday the 13th and as most people in the world know things have been a little bit um, crazy so i um, a little bit late. I still want to keep trying to do these every Wednesday but you know things happen and um, so I'm two days late, but still this is the growth that has happened in the last week. And I do have a variety of seeds here. So that's why one of the reasons I believe that we're seeing significantly different growth in these jars, um, because they've all been treated the same way. Um, but if you can see here, if it's bright enough, black seeded Simpson is doing really really well and this is the one this is the shelf that's in under my um bright white led lights and then down here is uh same brand of lights but these are full spectrum and uh actually called grow lights um, but the same thing it looks like the black seeded simpson is doing the best with the marvel bib a close runner up under these um grow lights a little bit behind under these um, bright whites so the marvel bib and then same thing going on here i have two jars of romaine that look really really nice and under the bright whites the romaine's doing nicely but still small and then the weird thing is here i have butterhead and bib and the butterhead is just barely growing the bib, I don't think this one's even sprouted. I think I dropped a couple of uh, arugula seeds in there just to try to salvage it. And down here, kind of the reverse, the bib has sprouted. Um, the butterhead has not. Nothing going on in there. Um, so it could be user error. It could be old seeds. I am notorious for buying discounted seeds from last year even though they're really good brands um, and it could be that those got a little bit low on water I have had to top off the water in most of these um, so they do still need to have some water in there for the roots to reach and then an air gap let me see if I can pull this guy out without too much damage um, but here you will see this really, hopefully you can see that really big root mass um, going into the water. So the water level here is about here. Um, so the bottom of this is not really touching the water. The bottom of the black net isn't really touching the water. Um, so the roots are getting oxygen and water. And then of course I put my nutrients in it. So it's also getting nutrients. Um, so it's looking really good that one black seeded Simpson, I'll probably pinch off those giant leaves and give them a taste. So that is one of the fears with any kind of hydroponics is that there's not going to be good flavor in those. And um, the other reason that I had a delay in filming this week's cracky system is that I actually moved my seed starting setup into my spare room so this is kind of my yoga room and i did a bunch of rearranging in here this week got rid of a whole bunch of stuff and moved the rack in here because i am starting other seedlings and where it was before out in my sunroom it wasn't really temperature controlled so i was starting off you know behind the curve so we had really cold night and might be 40 degrees in there and I was having to run a heater um, and it just seemed a little pointless when I could just bring the whole rack in here and it'd be at least 63 I think that's 62 or so is about the coldest we keep it in the house and I can also position this right over a heat vent um, down there so if I really wanted to um, be sure that the temperature in here is warm enough to start seedlings I could just move it roll it right over that vent and then this covering this really pretty white lacy covering is actually um 
a runner. It's for weddings. So this would be the white runner that you would lay out um, along the carpet on the aisleway of the church or the beach or wherever somebody's getting married. And I found it, this big roll, at the thrift store for 75 cents for the whole entire thing. Um, let's see, here's the roll and how much I still have left. So it's, it really feels like it's the same thing as kind of the same material as traditional row covers. Um, and I just thought it would make a really good cover for my seed starting rack. So this thing's, I don't know, six feet tall or something, um, maybe 18 inches deep and the shelves are four feet long. So I was able to string up a couple of, um, pieces of this runner I just rolled it from the top to the bottom and cut it to length and then used um, some let's see if you can see them some of these um, what the heck are those you know what I'm talking about anyway use some of those to hold it up there I mean you could always wire it up but uh, that's gonna be my little seedling setup in the past I have used some cheap plastic shower curtains um, but I kind of like this it softens these lights uh, if I'm sitting in here doing anything else it softens the lights and I have some other seedlings starting back there some tomatoes and I'll get some peppers going today so anyways that's the cracky going on right now so it's looking really nice and hopefully I'll see you on Wednesday of next week if not sooner so everybody stay safe out there. Take care of your neighbors. Take care of each other. Take care of yourself. Thank you so much for following us here on Tales from the Mutiny. Have a good one.